What's good? What's good? What's good, sneaker fam? It's your boy coming at you this morning, man. I know I'm looking a little rough. Just probably woke up about an hour ago, man. You know what I'm saying? But I thought I'd shoot a little morning vid, family. Morning vid this morning, bringing this video to you with a cup of Joe, family. You already know what it is. Just um, just to touch on a few things, man. This morning. Hope y'all having a great morning. A lot of y'all probably gonna be at work. May see this later on today. But hey, man, just thought I'd come on and talk about the past release this weekend, the Air Jordan 1, that Fearless. Um, saw W's, saw L's, you know, similar to like the Shattered Backboards, man. I think I saw more L's with the Shattered Backboards than with these Fearless uh, ones. I, I saw where a lot of people who won the Shattered Backboard didn't win the Fearless ones. Um, but hey, that's the way the game goes, man. I know I took a few L's. I took a W on the Fearless Ones, waiting on them to come in the mail from Nike. Uh, I took all kinds of L's on uh, the apps, man. Finish line, of course. I just laugh at finish line, man, because I already know the L is coming. But I still enter, but the L is coming on finish line. Um, who else? Um, I think it was Hibbits. I took an L on Hibbits. I never win anything that's um, limited on Hibbits. I always win the GR. But, of course, I just stopped entering for the GRs because if you can walk in the store and get them more likely, they're going to sit if um, it's not a limited shoe. Um, but with these fearless ones, I did go up to the mall after I got off work. Um, I think they had about eight pairs left in Foot Locker. Like I said, these was limited. So every store in my mall didn't get them. Only one store, and that was the House of Hoops. Um, but you already know. Well, other stores got them, the urban stores. Um, like Jimmy Jazz and City Gear, but I ain't even gonna go into details with the uh, man. You know how those urban stores are, man. But um, yeah, man, the fearless ones. Did you cop? Or did you catch the L? You know, coming it down below. Um, they're okay, family. They're, they're okay. I seen them in hand at the mall. One guy he was trying to sell his while he was standing in line. So of course, um, you know, dude didn't want to buy. I think he wanted two fifty for him, which I think that's what they was going for on StockX. But the, the guy was trying to um, lowball him and say he'd give him 180. I'm like, come on, man. You know, more than likely you're not going to get your size. You know, you got resellers in front of the line, so they're going to get, they're going to gobble up the pairs before they get back here to us. Like I said, I was just standing in line just seeing, hey, if I got lucky or if they had a pair or any size, I was just going to pick it up anyway. But um, that, that's, that's about it for that Fearless One family. You know, the next up going to be that um, Fearless One Mid now. I remember last year, mids, people were laughing at mids, man, you know. I got the um, mid um, hairs. I think I still got them back here. Where are they? Yeah, hold on. I think that's the only mid I do have in the collection. Um, I copped this one. And I was shocked when I copped this one. I'm like, I went up to the mall. I think my son had a, a basketball game. So I actually went up to the mall after the game. I think it might have been about 2 o'clock. And they still had sizes in here. And um, this clean, man. Clean, clean mid. And I think it's what, a couple of years ago, maybe? Uh, people was laughing. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I don't wear mids. I don't wear mids, 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 mids. Joke, man. Jordan one mids, joke, you know. And of course, now I look at them. People going crazy over mids, man. They even going crazy over the lows, man. People don't want loads. People, well, I got the loads. I got a couple of loads in here. Uh, I got one or two loads. I really don't wear a lot of loads either because I got the one, the one uh, metallic red loads here, and I got the black Friday loads also right here. I'm gonna break these things. These darn truck truck boxes, man. Get a little rough with them. You'll break them. Hey, check this out. I don't know if y'all can see the glitter on it. It's like all Jordan ones that has that black on them got that glitter on them, and he's been in the um, in the container. But I didn't I didn't think they was gonna glitter up like this, man. A lot of times, I don't know if you can see it on camera. You can see it real good right there, the glitter on it. But uh, yeah, all the all the Jordan ones, man, with that black finish on it, uh, they glitter up. I don't know why, but they do glitter up. Uh, but I think that's why they put that finish on the shattered backboards, you know, to try to 
um, stop that glittering process on the black finish when they got that black um, color on the Jordan ones. But um, for those who took off that finish, you'll know probably in about a year if um, your shoes start to form that glitter on them. I got another pair of Jordan ones over there. I got the, the All Star ones. They got glitter on them also, but. I don't know if it's the black part. No, it might be just the, the green, the teal green part too. So I don't know what's what's really going on with the finishing. I don't know if it's the, the paint or what. But hey man, anytime you get that black or dark color Jordan 1. And I think it's only with the 1s because I know my 6s, the All-Star 6s don't have them. Have that glitter on them. And they do have that finishing, that dark color finishing on them. But um, yeah, like I said, that, that's the reason why they may have put that glossy touch on the um, shattered backboard 3.0 to keep them from turning um, getting that glitter on them but um, also you know the fearless one me is coming out and they they already hyped up because they're limited they only what two or three foot actions in the United States are getting them and uh, one of those foot actions are not in the A and that's one thing that bothers me too man you got the A, A is a big state we are Jordan lovers down here in Atlanta man and uh, well, not A is not a big state. A is a city. <laughs> My bad. Georgia is a big state, but Atlanta gets a lot of Jordans. But we don't get the exclusive heat um, passes, sneaker passes like Chicago, New York, and um, L.A. You know, and we do have a Nike Town store at Lenox, but we really don't get those passes. I don't know why. You know, and I, I would like to have those exclusive passes when those exclusive releases drop. You know, hey, I want to end too. You know, every time I look on the sneakers out, it's a sneaker pass. I'm like, here we go again. New York, Chicago, and L.A. What can you do, man? Um, and I think if we get that pass down here in the A, um, they'll sell out. They will sell out. You know, you want, you know, you you brought us a sneakers app store, um, the little pop up shop downtown, and you didn't bring us nothing exclusive. You brought us stuff that's basically was online and you could purchase you know a few things that sold out was down there and um it was a lot of finagling going on down there that i heard i don't know i heard that but um you didn't give us nothing exclusive to say okay let me get up and go down there you know to to to, to get a lot of um exclusive stuff that the other cities get like new york chicago and um la but moving on, man. Jordan 13, man. They coming out that Tiffany colorway. Not a big fan of it. Uh, probably do another vid on that one. Uh, they, I think that's one of the next drops after the Fearless One mids. But um, not a fan of that Tiffany color, man. To me, it's a girly color. It's just my opinion, man. Don't hate me, man. Whatever. Comment down below. Troll me, whatever, about that colorway. If you like it, cool. I don't like it. Um, but it's, it's coming out. It's going to be a pass for me also. Um, the game, the sneaker game, family. The sneaker game with these apps seems like it's changing. You're just hearing so many um, comments on the sneaker app. Not the Nike sneaker app, just the sneaker apps like Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, and all this other stuff. Um, it's merging. It's this week. It's next week. It's next year. Man, you don't know what to believe. Bas basically, man, I've been doing a lot of talking to guys on the social media getting their opinions on it um seeing what they got to say trying to put everything together man i talked to a guy in Foot Locker this weekend he don't even know he he, he works in the store and he don't even know he giving me all kind of answers that don't even make sense you know he talking about the apps yeah they, they combine all the stores um you don't have to put in at foot action champs anymore just put in at one store but I'm hearing people putting in, still putting in at two and three stores. They went in pairs from Foot Action, Foot Locker, and Champs if they're getting them in your area. So I think, I think people just don't really know. They're just going on assumptions, just like these fearless one meets coming out this weekend. They don't give you a head start. I don't think you have to check in at stores. So no, nobody knows, man. I don't know. They might be trying to mix up the game to try to throw the resellers off, but it ain't gonna happen, family. It ain't gonna happen because one thing you gotta remember. Sneakerheads, collectors, they are turning into resellers, man. Let's be for real, man. You know, 
A lot of guys get in, in, in the game, they say, oh, man, I'm a collect, I'm, I'm, I'm a joy love, I'm a rebound love, I'm this, that, and the third. But they become resellers. You know what I'm saying? And some of them say we are not resellers, or I'm not a reseller, I am a part-time reseller. But, again, we bash them resellers, man. You know, I know a couple of resellers, they cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up, blah, 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 whatever, when I see them. But it's funny how they say, hey, man, I'm a reseller. I ain't what I am. You know what I'm saying? But a sneakerhead say, I don't like the resellers. They got the bots, man. The resellers gobbling up everything. Okay, they gobbling up everything. But you buying shoes and reselling them too. So what that make you? You part of the game, man. So you can't hate a reseller when... You're doing the same thing. you doubling up, tripling up, and you're trying to make some cash. Okay, you are a reseller, man. You're not a collector. Collectors don't buy and resell, buy and resell. You know, you got people on social media that struck out. You got extra pairs. You don't resell them to them. But you don't want to say, hey, man, let me, give you, let me give you this assist. I know you struck out. Here you go. Just give me retail and pay for shit. I don't hear none of that, family. Man, I might be wrong, but I don't really hear none of that. I just hear, oh, I got, I double up, I triple up. I'm finna resale. Bruh. So most of y'all cats, man, they talking about your sneaker lovers, sneaker heads, sneaker collectors. Stop hating on the resellers, man. Stop hating on them. You know what I'm saying? Because you reselling too, family. You reselling. It, it is what it is, man. Don't play the game, man. Don't play the game. Play the game. You understand what I'm saying? If you're going to play... The game by lying and saying you're not a reseller and you reselling, you are a reseller. Play the resale game. Just say, hey, man, I'm going to collect and I'm a resale. Just put it out there like that. You know, a lot of people want to say they talk down on resellers, but they're doing the same thing, man. You know, me, my opinion on resellers, they're going to exist. They're going to coexist. Whatever the sneaker game do with these apps, they're going to beat the game. If it's a wheel, it's a way. You got to remember, man, it's all about that dollar family. And uh, they going to they gonna get paid, man. You know, if you're chasing that dollar, the game is switched up, you you, you switch up with the game. You still going to get it. Just like with the app this weekend. Reseller still ain't. So <laughs> what, what are you saying? Remember, you got the boutiques and you got the urban stores that backdoor a lot of stuff. So they still going to eat regardless, man. So you're not going to stop the reseller, man. Uh, Hibbits. Hibbits Sports now. Well, moving on now to Hibbit Sports. Now, I'm still talking about the app. Now, Hibbit's supposed to bought out City Gear. But why City Gear is not on the Hibbit's app? That, now, that don't make no sense to me, family. What, what do y'all think? Because Hibbit and City Gear is merged. City Gear is still doing first come, first serve, lining up. So, you already know it's being backdoor. I think it was um, Ron Got Sold. Shout out to Ron Got Sold. I think City Gear finagled him out of a pair of those shout out backboard 3.0s, man. And that's why I understand. Hibbis, oh yeah, we 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 merged with City Gear. Well, City Gear need to be on that app along with your app shoes. You know, if your shoes on the app, why City Gear's shoes are not on the app, man. You know, I'm thinking about reaching out to Hibbit Sport to see what's going on because if y'all merging, City Gear is still doing their own thing. So how have y'all are y'all merging or y'all just bought stock in the City Gear because they still doing their own thing, first come, first serve. So they're going to finagle the game like they've been doing. So comment down below, fam. What, you, what do y'all think about that Hibbit Sports and City Gear mer merging? Do you think those shoes need to still say first come, first serve for City Gear? Or do you think them shoes need to be on the apps? Just like Hibbit Sports shoes are. They re they're releases, rather. Um, what else I got going on? A couple of stores. Um, Sneakerheads. Um... The uh, employees are turning sneakerheads also, you know. They're sneakerheads, they're sneaker resellers, you know, you hear all that from the employees in the store. But um, it is what it is, man, with the stores, man. Um, I know DTLR got put on blast in my area, and they had to start doing raffles. As always, family, appreciate y'all for pressing that play button. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to so be notified every time I drop a V. Get your boys! A thumbs up, man. And I'm out. Peace.